Hey guys, my name is Monsel and I'm with Nutripedia and today we're going to talk about how to avoid a hangover and if you already have a hangover, how to overcome it the day afterwards so it doesn't ruin your day. So guys, we've all been there. We've had a crazy night out, bunch of friends, and the morning after, sometimes it can really suck. We've got brain fog, headache, stomach ache, and sometimes the worst thing is, even though we don't feel sick or feel bad, we just feel a little fuzzy. We just don't have what it takes. And that can be a really big problem for someone who wants to enjoy a few drinks with friends. Maybe it's even your job to socialize. You're in sales. You need to have drinks with clients, etc. So I'm going to give you all the tools you need to avoid the hangover the next day. So first, you need to understand that there are three things that happen when you consume too much alcohol. And these three things are what we're gonna try and mitigate with supplements and different lifestyle changes so you don't have a hangover the next day. Number one is dehydration. Now, alcohol is a diuretic, which means that it makes the body remove water, it prevents the body from absor reabsorbing water and that is one of the main reasons why dehydration is so prevalent. Now the other thing is most people just don't even think about drinking water while they're drinking alcohol. So you have a two pronged attack on your system in that your body doesn't retain water as well and because you're drinking alcohol you're not drinking as much water. Now number two is related to the dehydration and it's mineral depletion. So when you're consistently getting rid of your water in your system through urine, through other means, you're losing tons of vitamins and minerals that are necessary to oxidize the toxins that come with alcohol. Now number three is acetaldehyde. I'm gonna spell that out for you. It took a while for me to even get the pronunciation. But acetaldehyde is a chemical compound where your body goes from alcohol that you consume to acetaldehyde to acetate. So this is a toxin, and it's one of the most common and one of the most harmful toxins that can go on. It's, in the short term, it leads to headaches, it leads to the stomach aches, and in the long term, this is one of the main causes of liver disease and other signs of aging that come with alcohol abuse. So just consider this to be like pickling your organs, and that's essentially what alcohol does. So before we go into the supplements, nootropics, and different habits that you need to use in order to prevent a hangover, I'm gonna first relay this very simple message that the best way to avoid a hangover is simply not drinking alcohol. If you don't drink alcohol, you're never gonna have this problem, but let's just assume that that's not possible for you. So step one is before you've even had a sip of alcohol, before you have any drinks, you want to make sure you drink at least 8 to 16 ounces of water and eat a meal. Now this is very basic but getting hydrated before you start drinking alcohol is important and getting a little bit of food in your system is really important as well. Now that's something you've probably already heard before so getting into a little bit of the nitty gritty, first make sure you take 500 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine. The reason you take N-acetylcysteine, or NAC for short, is because it's one of the most important and most well-proven supplements to reduce the toxicity that comes from hangovers. In fact, many studies show that this amino acid, cysteine, actually binds with the acetaldehyde and removes it from impacting your system as poorly as you might experience without this. If you're gonna take N-acetylcysteine, this is really, really important. You have to make sure you take it before you start drinking. If you do it in the middle or you do it after you start drinking, it can actually make your hangovers worse. Now there's no evidence from scientific literature, but if you look on communities like Reddit, there are people who discuss this topic and many of them who take N-acetyl L-cysteine in the middle of their drinking actually prolong their hangover effects. So make sure you take this maybe an hour, even two hours before you start drinking. Another really good option when you are about to start drinking 
So another good before supplement to take is about a thousand, maybe even 2000 milligrams of vitamin C. Now vitamin C is the most basic uh, vitamin that you need, but you're gonna do this for a couple of reasons. One, vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it's gonna help with the detoxification process when you're drinking alcohol. And number two, if you remember, alcohol makes you get rid of your minerals, it depletes your minerals, so we're just gonna top up your vitamin C before you even start drinking and you can't go wrong. So during the process of drinking, there's not many supplements that you can take, but some people recommend you drink anywhere between 12 to 16 ounces of water per alcoholic drink. That means if you take a shot, you drink 16 ounces of water. You take another shot, another 16 ounces. If you're out on the town, I know it can be difficult to try and go back and forth like this. Sometimes I just carry a bottle if I'm drinking and that'll help you gauge the amounts. But obviously, it's just something you're gonna have to try and keep in mind, eight to 16 ounces, closer to 16 ounces if you can, every drink that you take. Now guys, I'll be realistic if you're going out drinking, when you're done with a night out on the town, sometimes you'll be chasing a member of the opposite sex, you'll be trying to get some food in your system. I understand the hangover the next morning is not always your first priority, but try to make sure that you take these supplements so you can avoid a hangover. If you need to put these things out, at the door, by your bed, before you even go out, do so ahead of time because it's gonna make a really big difference. The first thing to take before you go to bed after your night of drinking is about a thousand milligrams of magnesium glycinate. Now this is just a basic magnesium supplement, but it's the most bioavailable one, so you're gonna be able to absorb the magnesium and this is huge because most people are already deficient in magnesium as it is. Add mineral depletion from alcohol on top of that and you're asking for a recipe for disaster. So take one to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium glycinate. Again, for mineral depletion, take a B complex if you have it. Now try to prioritize thiamine or vitamin B1 because this is one of the most essential nutrients for detoxification and mitochondrial health. And of course, you're depleted in vitamin B1 when you drink alcohol, just like any other mineral. The final option, if you can find it, is sodium are alpha lipoic acid. And this is a somewhat unknown compound for the purposes of hangovers, but if you take about 100 milligrams of sodium or alpha lipoic acid, you are going to be able to reduce the oxidizing effect that comes with alcohol. So this is one of the most powerful antioxidants and it can help you to detoxify your system, but it also helps to replenish some of the other minerals and vitamins like vitamin C and vitamin B1 so that they can do their job as well. Now, most of the stuff that I've given you before, during, and after are gonna help to prevent the hangover the next day, but something you might not be aware of is your liver is going to take a hit. Your liver is going to need some help, and milk thistle is one of the most well-established supplements to improve your liver health. People have been using it for thousands of years, and there's a lot of studies that show it can remove toxicity specifically in the liver and specifically with alcohol. So there's actual studies about this topic for you. Now those are your basic steps, guys. And there's tons of other great stuff as well. There are anecdotal evidence, there's some basic uh, fundamental research that's being done. And this includes things like paracetam, the day after drinking can really negate the cognitive defects that come with alcohol. There is Korean pear, which is one of the rare extracts from Korea that's being studied in order to prevent hangover symptoms. There's uh, even drugs like amoxapine, 
where people are using this synthetic compound in order to prevent some of the hangover effects on Reddit and longevity, for example. So guys, there's a ton of great stuff out there. Of course, I don't recommend you just jump in and use everything, but there's some good anecdotes that you can read about. And if you do wanna read more, if you wanna learn more about all the different uh, nootropics that I didn't even mention in this video, go ahead and click right here. You'll go to an article. Don't worry, I'm not trying to sell anything. It's just information. It's about 2,000 words of the same information, but more detailed with all the studies. So like I said, go ahead, check it out right there, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.